Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hope everybody's having a great week for you guys. This will be for Tuesday, and then Wednesday we will be having the Western Conference predictions that I did for this past year. And then about late August, early September, during training camp slash the preseason, I will be doing a predictions for the Eastern Conference and the Western Conference, like what we did with these two videos. Based off what I'm seeing, we were pretty close. The metric are actually at the Hornets spot, and you moved those two guys back. And then the Pacers actually got 11th. But I'm curious to see how this worked out in the end. This was actually really good. We did pretty good so far. Let's hear what we got to say. Let's get right into it, ladies and gentlemen. It's not too bad so far. Okay. Today's video will be the Eastern Conference. Tomorrow's video will be for the Western Western Conference predictions. Yep. And then we'll go into who we think is going to be in the finals for each conference. Who's going to be the, the finals MVP? Who's going to be the regular MVP? Okay. Sounds good to me. Most improved, so on and so forth. And for Thursday's video, okay. um, we're going to go ahead and start off with the Eastern Conference. Like in the shirt. Magic, the Detroit Pistons, Hornets, Pacers, and the Washington Wizards. We were pretty, it was pretty close. through 15, in which four of these, uh, well, three of these technically are, uh, in a rebuild, uh, teams, that being the Magic, the Pistons, and the Pacers. I do like the, pro the projections, and I like what? the rebuild that is already going on with these, those three teams. But it's going to take them a good minute to adjust to Get my face. Uh, playing with one another. I do love all three of those teams. Yeah. Same here. The Hornets, I do worry about the predicament for Lamella La Ball. Facts. It's still not they good. They have a lot going on. They, went they still Mark don't. Williams in the draft. They kept Gordon Hayward. Yep. They went and kept they still Kelly do. Oubre. They, he's a free agent still. Plumlee. They got JT Thor. Unfortunately, Miles Bridges went and had a domestic violence case, and he yep. has yet to get a contract because they have not found out if he actually did do the uh, crime of Kenyon's girlfriend. And they actually did. They show there's actual like photos now of the domestic abuse towards Miles Bridges, but yet they re-signed him. After a full year of him being not signed to a team, they signed the Hornets resigned him to one year, seven million dollars. There's photos of his ex girlfriend, wife that is like scars, uh, bruises all over her face, and it, it's it's pretty bad. Yeah, it's not, it's not pretty. His kid. And so he. They should have. Contract is none. They should have used that money and go resign PJ. Uh, Washington instead, but they either like, hey, let's re-sign a guy that's abusing women. That makes sense. Best prediction, uh, predicament for him. Yep. But as a team, it's kind of rough for him. Very the rough. Washington Wizards, I do love Bradley Beal, but the Porzingis, he's been hurt every single year since his last year on the Knicks. Facts. And he keeps getting hurt over and over again, and he did get hurt during the preseason, so I do worry Facts. that fact as it that be uh Bradley talk about that here in a minute partner in the pick and roll or pick and pop more so or maybe in pick and roll. I do like Rui Hachimura. I do like uh We'll talk about that here in a minute. That Denny Ad Advigina. I do like him a lot. Uh, but in general Washington it is gonna take them a minute to get going as a team, as a fluid team. And so yeah. I do say and want to say, or plan, or I am going to be saying that the Washington Wizards are going to be the 11th seed. Um, the Orlando Magic, uh, great young. Uh, Brad Beal is now on the Suns, playing with Devin Booker and uh, Kevin Durant. Chris Epstein has got a sign and trade to the. Uh, Boston Celtics, Marcus Smart went to the 
Grizzlies because John Moran is out is suspended for 25 games. So yeah, it's it's a completely different scenario for the Washington Wizards. Also, Washington Wizards got they initially had Chris Paul. They traded Chris Paul for Jordan Poole. Jordan Poole is now with Kyle Kuzma, who just signed an extension for a four-year, $108 million. It's looking a little bit better, but they're still going to need a couple more pieces. Also, Denny really steps it up. But it, it's totally different circumstance than... When was this? Um, this was nine months ago. So it is, it's a totally different story now. Solid core. And they could be a dark horse that I wonder about Jonathan Isaac and his health. He still he's hasn't gotten got any horse, better. But he's not healthy yet. No. And if he gets to being healthy with if. Paul Bancaro, Winter Carter Jr., Mo Bamba, Markel Fultz, Cole Anthony, Jalen Suggs, Terrence Ross, they got great... Franz Wagner, he, I didn't mention that. He could be a dark horse to get into the uh, playing tournament. Same with the Detroit Pistons. Them going out and getting Boyan Bogdanovich for only yeah. Kelly, uh, Kelly Olenek and uh, I can't remember the other player. Saban Lee? I want to say it was Saban Lee. I think so too. Lee and Kelly Olenek. Yeah. And they didn't have to give up a first round pick. No. So I do like the Boyan Bogdanovich. It was, it was I'm good. I'm trying to think of I'm surprised we still they haven't gotten rid of him yet. That they gave up, but I like uh, the Boyan Bogdanovich uh, trade. Yeah, it's not he bad. Has one more year left on his contract. Well, NASA extension. Who's like that playing tournament? Those two could make the playing tournament. Possibly. Yeah, this, it, pretty much right after they trade for him, they extended him for like three more years. So. And same with the Indiana Pacers again. Born and raised in Indiana, Reggie Miller. Love yep. the Indiana Pacers. Yes, sir. All five of these teams could make the playing tournament. They could. The right circumstance. Anybody can make the playing tournament. True. They make them make the playoffs. Just depending on the right circumstance. Yep. But for the Indiana Pacers, you got Tyrese Halliburton, Ben Nick Matherin, yep. Chris Duarte, Isaiah yep. Jackson, Miles Turner, um, Andrew Nebhard. Uh, they don't have uh, Duarte anymore. They traded him to the Kings for, I think, a second round pick in cash consideration, Jeez, but nothing hard. much. A very nice, solid core that I love. Jalen, I think I already said Jalen Smith. My mind's going a little bit on the fast end of things because this has been since the last recorded, but those are my 11 through 15. I don't okay. really see them making too much headway of making it into the playing tournament. And these are the playing tournament teams. So you got 10, 9, 8, 7, which actually the Knicks did a lot better. And I, uh, they actually, I think I got one of those right. Let's look. Brooklyn Nets were sixth. Seventh was actually the Hawks. The Heat were eighth. The Raptors were ninth. And the Bulls were tenth. Wow. That's uh, okay. Her? At tenth, we got the Atlanta Hawks. Ninth, the Chicago Bulls. The Brooklyn Nets at eighth. And the New York Knicks at seventh. The thing with the uh, Nick, the Nets is that they had Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving still playing really well. They, that they were looking like they were going to be a play in, uh, a playoff team. Then the Nets trade away Kevin Durant and Kyrie, brought in uh, Mikel Bridges, Cam Johnson, and they were able to squeak into the play uh, playoffs, but inevitably lost to the uh, 76ers badly. And they got. No, they didn't get swept. They got a gentleman's sweep, 4-1. But, yeah, they... I didn't, I'm surprised they even had him at uh, playing whenever they were still had uh, Kevin Durant and Kyrie. The Atlanta Hawks, I won, I am worried for the fact that Trey Young got absolutely annihilated during the play, the uh, playoffs. Yep. They won against uh, yep. uh, Miami Heat. They yep. showed what they did. What teams could do and what they should do against Ryan Hawks, and that is double team against Trey Young, who's only 5'11. Yep. John Collins is a good young player for them. I like uh, them getting uh, Duante Murray from the Spurs. That was, that was a decent move. 
three first round picks or was four? Four. I think it was three first round picks. Four. They gave up uh, some players to. No? I think it was just three first round picks. The, I do like that uh, addition of them. And they also went out and got AJ Griffin from the draft. Yep. They have a great core, but I worry about the fact that of the uh, Trey Young, how, how much of a usage rate will he have? How much. How often is he going to have the ball in his hands? Is he willing to play off ball? Uh, Hawks no longer have John Collins. He is now on the uh, uh, the Jazz for two second round picks. Yeah, it was that was a that was an ugly trade by the Hawks. I don't I do just as a salary Butler, dump. They Hunter, Garrett John Collins was I ridiculous. The bench. That bench is bad. Yeah, Bogdan Bogdanovich. Uh, Bogdan Bogdanovich, not Boyan. Warder, uh, Kevin Warder went to the Warriors. So, a little bit three-point shooting here we're going to be missing. Gallinari's gone. I wonder about their bench. They were able to keep Lou Williams. He's um, retired now. Their, their defense with Get my face fly. kind of nah. did not pan out very well at the beginning of the season. And okay. they flip it to where the beginning of the season they start playing really good defense that could transition to better offense and maybe get some headway, but I had him at 10. Uh, the Hawks went 41-41. They de- the defense did not get any better, didn't get any worse. It was mediocre throughout the whole season. Their offense was mediocre. They got rid of uh, uh, Nate McMillan, who was a defensive coach, for another defensive coach in uh, Quinn Snyder. So I don't know what the hell they were thinking about doing that. Yeah, it's, it's that's just a terrible predict, predicament for the Hawks. I would consider trying to trade. I know they have been considering trying to trade away Trey Young. Trey Young might want to consider asking for a trade. It's it's a weird predicament for the Hawks. They don't really have significant upside to be or may be a playoff team, but a or be a playing team. Let alone a playoff team, a contending team. Yes, two years ago, Atlanta Hawks went to the playoffs. They went to the Eastern Conference Finals. They tore it up. Trey Young was that villain in Knicks, but it's just an ugly predicament right now. It's so terrible. Cool. Well, uh, Lonzo Ball is pretty much the reason why I have them at nine. For the fact that they're, they're talking that he might be out for the whole season. He's not able yeah. to run yep. or jump. He barely go up any sort of set of stairs, nope. it worries me for their health. Yep. Because he is their uh, their playmaker, their ball handler, yep. their defender at the uh, wing. I got they're going to probably move Alex Caruso to the one most likely to help still continue to play good defense. Yep. Whenever, uh, because uh, Zach Levine is not the best defender. Like God, Marcus no. Rosen, He's he had awful. A hell of a season last year. He had. And if. Uh, he had he had in a hell of a season two years ago. He was a, a front runner for MVP. This past year, he showed his age, and it did not look pretty. Um, I was only one spot off, so I'm not too worried about that. I just had as well as he did this past year or this past year. Uh, then my my predictions right here is going to be absolutely awful. No, you, you're. Vucevic. He is regressing quite a bit. He, he just signed an extension for twenty more, twenty million a year for three more years. So, for sixty million dollars, uh, it's awful. In general, it's a lot of question marks when it comes to the Bulls, in which a lot of the teams are going to be having question marks. And to be honest, very true. Next, very true. Is the Brooklyn Nets rim protection? Yeah, that's the bottom line as to why I'm at, even having yeah. in the play-in tournament rim protection. Nicholas Claxton is a great young player. Wonder about his rim protection, his rebounding. His, his, he got a lot his, better. Where his ceiling will. Ever- he 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 got a lot better. He he's the one reason as to why they made the playoffs, along with him and Mikael Bridges, Spencer Spencer Dinwiddie. They had great chemistry. Those three, and so I I I like Nicholas Claxton now. Kevin Durant, yeah, I'm a Kevin Durant, that. one of the greatest shooters of all time. Kyrie Irving, 
it sounds like he's gonna be playing. He's gonna be able to play pretty much all the games except for the ones in Toronto. Yep. With the uh, vaccine. Yep. <clears throat> ben Simmons is back to being healthy, and he's he doesn't. When was this? I talked about this many. When times was this? In my videos, when it comes to Ben Simmons, you don't have to shoot. No. He, he's true. He does true. everything what James Harden didn't do. Now yeah. the shoot. Yep. A lot better defender. His ball Dude. handling as, is as good. He's not. Gonna, yeah. Isn't, his ball handling is not is as good. It will never be better than uh, James Harden. No. Ball handling. But he but does has to defend. He has playmaking. Ball, uh, ball handling slash playmaking. Mm-hmm. Uh, defi- uh, is able to rebound. He does everything what James Harden didn't do for the Nets. Yeah. And what they needed for James Harden to do. Yeah, and I, I like that addition of Ben Simmons. And once he once he starts playing with his guys and getting that chemistry going, I like them a lot. But I do wonder about their rim protection. That's why I have the yeah. ahead of them because of Mitchell Robinson. He they resigned him for a pretty good contract. They went out and got Jalen Brunson, who is a. Uh, I still believe that if uh, Ben Simmons were to have that right mental space. To be like, hey, I know I could do this. I'm making this amount of money. He's making $35 million a year. And he has yet to play for the past two years. We're going on three years of not playing basketball. He he played the one. Slide Spencer Dinwiddie to the two. Have Mikel Bridges still, still stay at the three. Deron Sharp maybe at the four. And then you have, or no, uh, Cam Johnson at the four. With uh, Nicholas Claxton at the five. That's a... That's a deep team right there. And uh, Duran Sharp comes off the bench with Cam Thomas. He just has to play. He's a great defender. He has good passing ability, playmaking, facilitating for his team in Ben Simmons. He can do a triple-double. He doesn't have to shoot. You don't have to shoot mid-range. You don't have to shoot threes. Just go to the bucket and just dunk. Don't pass the ball as soon as you get to the rim because you're worried that you're going to miss a layup. Just dunk the ball you're six nine point guard but yeah it's that's a terrible predicament the next one was worth a great. contract it was is a pretty steep contract it was but it's totally worth it of him being quickly Derek rose he that 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 jalen brunson contract is phenomenal now he he's a uh, bucket he is that guy shit man christmas Harris, he's so good i won oh and then julius Randle, of course it seems like he's starting to become a little bit of a headache for the Knicks. That's why yep. they were kind of trying to trade me yep. for Westbrook yep. to get off the contract. Yep. After one year with Westbrook, get Julius Randle on his contract. Yep. It'd be a pretty big or a significant uh, change of pace for them. Yep. And so I see why they, why uh, the Knicks were wanting to do that because yep. he seems like he's he's, he's, he's still a headache for them. Him. Bit, can't uh, he? He's like me. Right. Like he can't dribble with his left. He shoots with his left. He can only like uh, drive left and shoot left. He can't. He he can't do anything with his left hand other than just shoot it. It. He can't shoot with his right. It. I'm the same way though. I can't say much. I I can't like dribble with my right my left either. Okay. Um, wow, my controller is just dying so often. Uh, oh, mouse. mouse. Yeah. I used, I used to have a mouse that, that had batteries, but... 7 through 10, next up, is 5 through 6, that being... These guys severely... Not devalued, but they didn't really... Like, there was a lot of injuries. They didn't really try too much in the playoffs. They actually were in the play-in, and they ended up going to the finals... The Raptors got, they lost uh, Van Vliet this offseason. They lost, nothing was anybody else. They resigned Por- Portal, Yoko Portal. Um, they signed Dennis Schroeder. The talks of them trying to trade Siakam to the Pacers or the uh, OG Anobi to the Pacers. I don't want either one of them. I'm being dead honest, like. With the trades that they're wanting with the Pacers, that we're giving up 
first round picks, I'm good. I, I love both of those players, but we our whole thing about our team is that we don't we don't get the good the uh, good free agents. We drew, we both threw the draft, and for us to give up draft picks because they're going to go into a rebuild when they trade those one of those two players to us. We need those because we're not guaranteed that OG would, and Obi would resign with us. With Siakam, will he continue to be at this position where he scores 24 points a game, 8 rebounds a game with uh, 3 or 4 assists a game, getting a couple steals, playing good defense? We already have a great, solid foundation team. We don't really need another forward. So, it, I... They, does the Fimri do their own thing? We don't need either one of them. It should have been five. They should have been. Rookie of the year in Scotty Barnes. You have Sills, Pascal Siakam, the uh, Van Vliet, uh, Gary Trent Jr. Van Vliet, Gary Trent Jr. Two of the best that was weird. defending guards. Yep. In the league, and that yep. backcourt is phenomenal. Was. I know they were able to keep. I do wonder about their bench because they got rid of Malachi. Their bench, Klein. yeah. I yep. wonder about their bench. They had pressures to chew up. Their rim protection is another one. Their bench and their rim protection because Joel Embiid ate, up, ate them up during the play in yep. or playoffs. They, playoffs, they yeah. Got swept. They, they got Yoko Porter now, who's protector. a good rim protector. Their height, the tallest player is 6'9. There's no nah, that's seven foot. that. Pressures are Chua, Siakam. Scotty Barnes, and I think there's a... Oh, Chris Bozier, all 6'9". Six, six, nine. Nine. I, I worry about their height and yep. their, uh, their uh, weight, too. They're very... They're a little very, bit of a scrawnier. They're sturdy guys, but they're yep. not big. Like Scrawny. Joel Embiid, that's why Comparatively to a Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid does eight the whole time. Mm -hmm. I still like the roster as a whole. Yeah, it's kind of... Heat. Okay. Jimmy Butler, Bam Adebayo, Tyler Hero, that was a pretty good contract of theirs. Young Robinson, yeah. they kept it. Kind of was worried that was, about that. that. That's a gross contract. He did pretty well in the playoffs, actually. Points, I believe, so he, he, uh, he did pretty well during the playoffs, and then the finals came, and he just didn't even show up. So, Duncan Robinson. He really wiped out. He could not, almost really didn't miss a shot. And then his contract is still sketchy. It's pretty steep. Good defense. Or nah, not defense. even. He doesn't play defense at all. There we go. That's more like it. Tyler, here's a bucket. Jimmy Butler, Bam out of bye, like I was saying. They're, uh. Did they? Oh, PJ Tucker went to the. Uh, 76ers. 76ers. Mm -hmm. They're trying to trade for Jay Crowder. I do wonder about their four position. Mm hmm. Um, Kyle Lowry is. He's not. By God, he's not regressing, but the injury yeah, is starting to catch up. He is getting older as why well. he's, re he's regressing. At the one, also. Yep. The one and the four are why I worry about. You're at seven. Gabe Vincent. You're at seven, and, yep. And, uh, Gabe Vincent and Max Struess. Gabe Vincent and uh, Max Struess. What's the other guard? Max Struess. Uh, S T R U S. Struess. Max Struess. Picture of both of their faces. Max Struess and Gabe Vincent. Leave me down in the comments below what the uh, guard's name is. Max uh, Struess. Struess. Max Struess. Oh, also, Nikola Jovic. Ooh, he hasn't nine, played any five, minutes. Five, I, I love four, him. Uh, Jovic. I love him. I want him. I don't know if Pacers. That stretch ability of his would be phenomenal. Really solid preseason game. I, I'm, I'm, play, I, I, I'm going to keep him at five. They might, they might be in higher. My prediction. Mm, well, don't do it. I like that Jovic a lot. You like him, but he didn't play any minutes. And then, of course, uh, like we did last year, it's quite obvious who's going to be number one after I show you two through four. We'll talk about two through four before we go into uh, the. Uh, did I get that right? Uh, the, did I get that right? Four, three, two. Hey, I got the top five right. Or top top four teams right. I'll take it. Hey, I'll take it. Okay. Wow. I'll take it. 
Cleveland Cavaliers. Yep. Celtics at three in the 70s. Sixers at two. Wow, I actually got it right. Which probably the most shocking of them all, and that's being the Cleveland Cavaliers. It's I not shocking. The addition of Donovan Mitchell. That is phenomenal. It, it was. A lot, a lot better. Dropped 71 points. Able to play off guard. I like that they went and got. Like, the Cleveland Cavaliers are still a young, growing team. They are. To go with uh, Donald Mitchell, who's still quite young. Yep. They're 27 they're 28. They are starting to get older, and they were wanting to rebuild and get rid of all these older players. Go ahead and just do a complete teardown, a complete yep. rebuild. Cleveland Cavaliers like, let's go take him. They got Darius Garland, Donovan Mitchell. Mm-hmm. I wonder about their – I worry about their wing – Position. Wing slash three or small they forward. I have Evan Mobley and Jared Allen, who are two amazing front court players. I again, I worry about their wing. Uh, they had Seti Alden. Of course, probably will start. For he them. he probably did start. Actually, he did start quite a few games. Kevin Love Mar Stevens was another one for thirty million dollars a year. Damn, it is killing me, man. For thirty million dollars, wait. They have Kevin Love as a sixth man, which they did have him. They bought him out. He went to the uh, Miami Heat. Um, but they also in the offseason, they uh, went and signed Max Struess, which was a huge deal. I like him. I don't. I like him at the three, but I don't love him. He's a little bit of a shorter three, but they they their their scoring is going to be out the wazoo. Cleveland. During the playoffs, Donovan Mitchell took way too many shots. Did not like how many shots he was taking. That was that was that was rough. There. He's not there anymore, bud. But I, I love their roster. I love yep. that, that Same here. of Donovan Mitchell so much. Yep. Next up is the Boston Celtics. <clears throat> that I love them picking up. My uh, or the uh, my Pacers. Oh, uh, Malcolm Brogdon. Malcolm Brogdon. They gave up He's the, all, he was sixth man of the year for this upcoming uh, twenty twenty three draft. They got up Aaron Naismith, uh, Daniel Tice. Mm-hmm. They gave up another guard. We ended up waving him. Um, I can't remember. Not we, the name. Aaron but, Naismith uh, was like the main yeah, thing. Not, not much they had to give up. No. And they got a first round pick. Solid uh, bench player slash starter at times. There's mm-hmm. moments where he probably will start for the uh, the Boston Celtics because he is a bigger guard that he's going to be able to guard bigger guards. He's a 50, 40, 90 percent. He was, or he is. Uh, he didn't really start a whole lot. He was. Mostly their their uh, bench scorer. He was phenomenal for them, but kind of player. It's it, you wonder when he does miss free throws if the the uh, rim is kind of uneven because it's just so rare for him to miss. Yeah, you got to all the Boston Celtics fans. You guys are gonna absolutely love Malcolm Brogdon. And you you guys were, and you guys did. Anybody significant like a Marcus Smart for Malcolm Brogdon? Um, no. Which they ain't bad to get rid of him anyways. The key, they got, kept Al Horford. But like, it, it hurts them to an extent losing Daniel Tice, but no. he didn't really play too much. No, yeah. But to get, he didn't even play for us. Like that addition of uh, Malcolm Brogdon. That was huge and for them. Of course, you have two young guys that are still developing their game, that being Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. Brown had an awful final. And it's a conference finals game. And then second seed. There was a battle right before I uh, started recording this video of those two teams. I initially had the Celtics at two, and then the mm-hmm. Seven Sisters at three. But seeing these photos, seeing the development of James Harden getting into the gym, both not necessarily bulking up, but losing that weight. And then yeah, he did. Transitioning into getting some bulk, like what you're supposed to do in life is, if you are, have so much weight on okay. you, yeah. you only lose that weight, 
you're gonna have excess skin and then transition into grabbing that getting that skin to mold, mold into, into muscle, muscle is what James Harden did in these photos he did yeah he looks, he, he looks chiseled out yeah he did he didn't play well got rid was, of his contract he was pretty bad 40 million dollars 47 million dollars I think got rid of that and instead did the uh Two uh, years. Thirty million. Yeah. A chunk of money, but he took a pay cut when they went and got Montrez Harrell. Yep. PJ Tucker. They yep. were able to keep Maxi because he's on his rookie contract. Bible's on his rookie contract. Yep. Joel Embiid is a heavy favorite of being an MVP this upcoming year. Hey, this guy doing Four stuff. Stars. Okay. This roster so much. Okay. And Tobias Harris, of course, too. I, I love this roster so much for the yeah, Look at him doing stuff. NBA. Saying Joel Embiid MVP. Squad and a threat to make it to the finals. Mm -hmm. And so that is 2 through 15. And number 1 we have, in which I will show you after I get my controller, my or mouse. My mouse to turn on. Yep. To, it, that, that mouse was a pain. On Steel Series, that was that was not a good mouse. The Milwaukee Bucks, Bucks. At number one. That's what I'm talking about, bud. They were. Did it, I don't think they got swept. Did they take Game Seven? Get my face. Took them to seven. Uh, NBA 2022. Playoffs? Playoffs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the bracket. I wonder they took them to seven. Yeah, they took them to seven. And that was without Chris Middleton, the Milwaukee Bucks. Giannis is still on a tear. He's. Yep. One of, if not the greatest player in the NBA right now. Yeah. They went and resigned uh, Drew Holiday last uh, last off season. Yeah. Not this past off season, but the season be uh, off season before when they won the championship. They have Brooke Lopez when healthy has a good uh, three point shot. I just I love the Milwaukee Bucks so much, and it hurts because. Of the uh, them being our rivals in our comp in our they're in my division, division, the, yep. The Pacers, the, uh, Eastern Conference, or for the uh, the Central Division, they're the they're the rivals of ours, but yep. I just gotta be honest, Giannis is one of the greatest players in the NBA right now, if not yep. the greatest, like I said, between him and Curry, of course, uh, LeBron James, and then uh, yep. and Tatum, an example. There's a handful of players that are just right up there that are some of the greatest. Yep. That's all another topic. That if you guys are interested in knowing my thoughts on the greatest players, leave a comment down below. Okay. If you guys like to see that, and leave a comment down below of your like top five players uh, that in the NBA right now. I plan on leaving a uh, leaving a, com uh, leaving a comment down in the description myself, asking if you guys would be interested in seeing me do a top twenty five players in the NBA. And okay. Then, like what I said before, this is going to be for the day of being Tuesday. Shortly after this, probably get a little bit of food, and then I'll get into the Western Conference spots. Western conference seedings predictions but I'm so glad to be talking once more with you guys and a big shout out to all of you we are at 101 subscribers it that was is nine, nine months ago I'm to 108 now keep just getting further and further along you guys have been loving the NBA 2k content mm -hmm. you guys continue to love the, the NBA content that I provide and just any content that I provide and I much appreciate it guys as well as being said this will be right here Guys later. Okay, that's the conclusion. Uh, luckily for the Bucks, they resigned Middleton. He went from making he's gonna make forty two million dollars this upcoming season. He 
declined that contract, re-signed for four years, $120 million, so $30 million a year. So he took a little bit of a pay cut just to give some wiggle room for the Bucks to re-sign other players. They re-signed Brook Lopez. Would you get my fa- face nets? He was a runner-up for the Defensive Player of the Year. He averaged like two and a half blocks. I still like the idea of the Bucks being the favorites to win the Eastern Conference and be the number one seed for this upcoming season. But we'll have to wait till August for me to really say that that's going to be the case or not. With all of that being said, you guys, like I said before, this video will be for Tuesday. And then I'll do a Wednesday video of the Western Conference seeing predictions, reaction, seeing how we did in that video. With all that being said, guys, I'm in this video right here, and I'll talk to you guys later.